In this screencast, I'm going to teach you how to make a high-quality vocal guitar track using Mixcraft 5. I get a lot of messages on my other YouTube channel uh, asking me how I create such clean recordings with my guitar, and this is my secret. This is your best friend. It's on 100 right now, but when I'm recording, most of the time I take it down really low if it's a loud song. Uh, or maybe up a little bit higher if it's a quieter sounding song. This one was more of a quieter sounding song, so I've got my volume, my recording volume, up to 62. Anytime this is red, you've armed the track for recording. Um, let's talk about a couple of other tweaks. You'll notice how I've put a indicator on the volume here. The center is up at 100, that's normal volume. And I've tweaked it down to keep my intro from bumping into the red over here and distorting. I've come into the track gradually to keep a pop or a click from sounding when the track plays. I've done the same thing on the end to, to do sort of a fade out. I'll let you listen to this track this is a, an example of how clean you can make a recording sound with your guitar and your vocals all on one track. My, oh my, so good looking You hold yourself together like a pair of bookends But I've not tasted all your cooking Who are you when I'm not looking? Do you pour a little something on the road? Slide down the hallway in your song. Were you undressed? Do you leave a path? Then sink to your nose in a bubble bath My oh my so good looking You hold yourself together like a pair of bookends But I've not tasted all your cooking Or who are you I'm not looking I want to know I want to know I want to know Now you can see it has a fade in and a fade out at the beginning and the end of the track. When I recorded it, I recorded it at 62 because it's for my voice and my type of style of playing, it's more of a quieter sounding song. If I was going to rock out to some turn the page or something like that, I'd probably turn my recording volume down a little bit since I'm going to be putting so much more drive in my voice. And I'll be hammering hard on the guitar. So if you make a recording and it sounds distorted, you need to record it all over again and push this volume level way down and test a few tracks until you finally get the, the, level of, uh, the volume level that you want. Okay. Let's go over here to the middle of the track. I want to show you something. Let's say you make a recording, and you like the way it sounds, but in a few spots on the recording, you've just went way off the charts, and you've bumped into the red here. That'll distort when you're listening to it, you know, on a stereo or headphones or wherever. You just simply adjust the volume here by creating a point. You just create a point by touching this line, and you can move this anywhere you want and do a whole lot of stuff with it. Now... I've had to adjust this because in, in this section, I bumped into the red over here, and I didn't want to distort, so this is a great example to show you how to adjust the volume level and still make it sound normalized. Lie down the hallway in your song. Now you see what I've done is I've just pulled it down, but every time I went back to complete normalization, I went right back to 100. I don't know if you can see the 100% pop up there as I hover over the 
the volume point there, but it, it's at 100. It's at 100 over here as well. 100 is the overall track volume, and you want to make sure you go back to that after each tweak is done. You want your listener to feel like they're listening to you play without any problems at all from start to finish, and they don't need to realize that you tweaked the volume here. So listening to it turned up as loud as you can stand it on headphones when you're trying to adjust all of your, uh, your track settings um, will give you a really good idea of how the end user is going to hear it when uh, you render your final project. So um, listen to it over and over and over again. Make as many tweaks as you need to make and always save your original file that way. You know, so, man, I don't really know if I like the way that turned out so you can always go back and adjust it. Now, to get the, the, um, the vocal effects that I've gotten on this track, I'm going to show you what, I've, what I always use. Um, basic low boost on Acoustica EQ is the Acoustica EQ setting I use. And under Reverb, every song I do is different on Reverb. This one is set to 30. High frequency damping is set to 50. Stereo width is 100. Wet mix is 10. And dry mix is 100. Those are the only effects I use when I'm making a guitar recording. I hope this has helped. Um, a lot of people message me about volume problems. You know, distorting way out of the grid here. Off the meter. Um, these are the tricks that I use. And remember, if you record with, the, with your armed volume way up high, you're going to distort all over the place. So create a few test tracks. Lower this down. And try to keep... This is about ideal here. If you're looking at this here... It's about as, as maxed out as you want to get at 100%. You're always going to have these spots where you need to tweak a little bit. Just make sure that you try to keep it to sounding normal, as normalized as possible. I think that pretty much covers it. I hope you got a pretty good idea of the steps that I use when I create an audio, um, when I create a vocal guitar track. Um, mixing your guitar tracks with your audio, with your vo vocal tracks... There's nothing wrong with that for just creating a YouTube video or creating a uh, a CD for friends or whatever. If you've got uh, a mixer console or you've got a junction box that, and you've got a digital audio in, then you can run track at a time. Or you can record in one track and play guitar, probably electric guitar with rhythm settings. Um, so you can lay the, the guitar track down on one track the vocal track down on another track, and then you can tweak them individually, okay? Mixing down to an MP3, choose MP3, I don't want to save my settings, edit details. This is where you pick your, your uh, quality size. I always render them out in high quality, large size. MP3s are, are, are relatively a, a pretty small audio file anyway. I'm not really worried about uh, volume um, file size. Tag info. Add everything here, and this will actually give your song properties, actual properties, when you render it down to an MP3. So, this will help you um, give your file ownership. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, please leave a comment. Don't forget to check out my other videos. Subscribe. Uh, if you don't like it, throw it in the trash can. Have a great day.